Hello, I'm British Underdog, and welcome to Loot Top Metal Gear Solid 5. Today, we're going to be looking at the Novabraga Airport, in which has shipment crates and boxes filled with loot. There's A and B rank soldiers here. There's mortar launchers, there's turrets, there's even an anti aircraft gun. This place has it all. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, from the helicopter, what you want to do is open the iDroid, go to the Missions tab, select Side Ops, scroll over to Africa, then select any Side Ops you haven't already completed. If you've completed them all and you don't have any, I think you can select one that you've already completed. After you have done that, select that helicopter drop-off point and then commence the mission. After selecting that drop point, the helicopter will take you a little bit south of where Snake is currently. Uh, here he is on the map, but north of me is the Nova Braga Airport. Uh, you can see all the riches that holds been inside it, and that's without noting the shipment crates and the weapon emplacements. So hopping in the jeep here, we're going to head north towards Nova Braga. Uh, I advise you taking uh, a jeep because uh, D Dog can't fit into uh, can't fit into the truck for some reason. Doesn't let him, and he is invaluable in sniffing out guards here, uh, especially the snipers. The snipers later on in the uh, on top of the main building and he does an extremely good job at spotting them for you. Spotting this guy here, there's normally a guy in that, uh, that guard station there, that, like, uh, that sniper tower. Note where he's facing and take him out if possible. Uh, if not, he will, uh, he will spot you and you'll have to reload the checkpoint pretty early on. Heron's gonna tranquilize him. He'll be out long enough for me to, uh, to get in and he won't notify anybody once he gets up. After taking care of that guard, we're going to hug the left wall and head through this fence gate. Sometimes this gate is locked, so uh, yeah, that's why we take out that guard there, so he doesn't spot us if we if we have to lock pick it. Uh, here we are on the map, in case you are a bit lost. But we're going to uh, we're going to head on over to the shipment crates over here while uh, checking for uh, rooftop guards. They can absolutely kill a uh, loot run in seconds because they're really hard to take out if they spot you. After forcing all three of the shipment crates though, we're going to head left through that second fence gate. Uh, here we are on the map again, in case I wasn't clear enough the first time. After heading through that fence gate, we're going to head up these stairs and through this blue door. These, uh, these blue door uh, like buildings, they have multiple resources in on these uh, on these filing shelves um, through the back here I just uh, I spot this truck coming in the supply truck you can fault them those out if you see them and they are worth I think uh, 40,000 30 or 40,000 GMP a piece uh, I actually did fault with that one out but I didn't uh, record it because it was a bit random and lucky uh, as you see here, in the next the next big spot, I uh, cut a bit out. There's some more buildings. I looted my way through all these buildings, then looped around, went through the main building with the snipers on it, and then moved left. Uh, there is also a uh, a grate in which you can crawl through to get here as well. But I like to take the the highest loot way, you know, like the the way uh, the route with the most loot, as it were, uh, rhyming not intended. But now we're here next to this large hangar with this, uh, what seems to be like a, a crashed plane that they've dragged in. Uh, it's a pretty, it's a pretty noticeable landmark. But outside of it, there's generally three shipment crates. You might get less. You might get unlucky. But I think three is the maximum you can get here. Also, I'm just going to take out a couple more rooftop guards with this uh, tranquilized silent sniper I put together with the customization. I'm pretty proud of it. Again, there's more to loot after we pick up these three uh, these three shipment crates. We're going to head into the back, where we uh, just backtrack a little bit. There's some fuel resources here, which I'm going to pick up. Pretty common, uh, pretty common component in crafting recipes in this game. We're now going to loop around into this. Uh, into the hangar where there's 300 loot, uh, 300 fuel to loot there, and on the other side there's, uh, I think it's a biological material. There's 200 of it. Over here we're gonna, from here we're gonna head over the other side of this uh, this airstrip, 
noting the guard positions as they move along and uh, head into that small building that I just uh, spotted in my binoculars there. As we uh, as we head in, we're going to crouch just in case those guys spot us. Sniper shot of the week. I never miss. There are some more fuel resources. Apparently, these guys love their fuel resources. And here's a uh, here's a pinup girl that will uh, raise the morale of the troops on Mother Base. Heading over to this uh, parking lot, I noticed there was uh, of some, some lovely plants, but there was actually a jeep here. I don't I don't think that's a guaranteed spawn for a jeep, like some uh, some outposts have. But I'll just consider myself lucky and grab it. Uh, just check for no one, I guess. If you come through here, always check that guard tower because sometimes there's a guard up there too. Uh, I don't think there's actually any cameras here. If you've played the mission, there's uh, cameras everywhere. There's a, a primary mission here. From this uh, from this small parking lot, you can loot these three uh, these three buildings. They also have random loot in them. Um, I think the loot always stays the same though. Uh, also check for these plants, you can check with them with the night vision, they glow uh, for whatever reason. Apparently apparently they give us some sort of thermal reading, I don't really know, don't know much about plants. Anyway, from picking up those plants we're gonna head between the double buildings over here, uh, noting there's two guards that patrol here. They're a bit awkward, there was one over there for me and one in this building who just walked out. I uh, I did scout ahead and noticed there was resources in here, then backtracked a little bit for the video's sake. But here we are, there's some more, uh, some more resources in here. This area is really rich with, uh, with biological material and fuel. There's also a lot of common metal here too. Here I am trying to scra scoop out the, uh, the grand prize as it were. I spot it eventually with these night vision goggles. Here we are. The anti-aircraft gun. <laughs> I think that thing is worth a lot of money. I, d I don't know. I haven't sold one yet. I'm uh, I'm stockpiling them in case anybody decides to attack my base online. If the online ever comes up on PS4. It was up at this point uh, that I was playing so I was a bit worried. Um, from here we're going uh, gonna to take out another rooftop another rooftop guy and sneak over to these weapon emplacements which I've scoped out. You'll also notice there are there are two mortar launchers on the uh, on the roof there that I've also scoped out which I'll be picking up later. They're worth uh, they're worth their fair share in GMP as well. Uh, coming over here, you want to uh, you want to really check your surroundings. There's a lot of guards, and they'll cause you a lot of trouble. Uh, they'll see you pretty much from like 50 meters away in the day. They have very good eyesight. I'm checking that guy to see if I could take him out. Uh, he has a helmet on, so I can't shoot him from the back. Okay, so we're just outside that. Uh, building with the blue doors that we saw that guard walk into earlier that I was scoping in on. Um, there is some loot in there, so uh, so be sure to grab that if you're, uh, you know, if you pass on by. If you go a different route, then that's cool too. But I want to head up here and grab uh, grab these mortar launchers and test out my new stun arm. As it turns out, highly effective, if a little noisy. Uh, this guy's got some stats I like, so I'm going to bring him back to Mother Base and force him to fight for me. So, sort of man I am. So, uh, we've got to grab these mortal launchers here, they're worth quite a lot. Uh, in terms of GMP, if you sell them. Uh, also, they can be used to uh, defend in the FOB PvP mode. Uh, for online. But uh, from the hangar with the crashed out plane inside of it, 
we're going to head back over this piece of airstrip. Um, just around the corner here would be the the jeep uh, I extracted in that parking lot uh, to give you a refer point of reference. But there, on those zones that I uh, that I highlighted, you can actually sometimes find shipment crates. Um, I'm not sure if that's just in a mission that I played, but I definitely did extract uh, three or four there before. Um, one of them may have been precious metal, I'm not entirely sure. But going out that door, that's going to be our, uh, our exit, our exit point, and just in time because people are starting to wake up. Uh, so from here, we're going to just go to the helicopter tab, we're just going to get ourselves picked up, and uh, we're just going to run over to the pickup point. Um, we could, we could have uh, went out from the area that I parked my car, but that guy in the tower would have respawned, well, like, woken back up, and, um, frankly, I don't need the car, I'm just gonna leave. Uh, by the time I get there, the helicopter still wouldn't have, uh, still wouldn't have landed. But, that pretty much wraps things up, thank you very much for watching. If you liked, leave a like, or a comment saying you want more of this. Uh, I'm more than happy to make more of these. I really enjoy them actually. Uh, thank you very much for watching again. I will see you in the next one. Okay, you gonna not let me snipe you in the back of the head during my old fucking video, huh? Okay, smart ass. See how that turns out for you in the long run. In the long run. Oh, for fuck's sake, just come on. Four shots in the fucking head. F four shots. Just drop already. Just drop uh, five shots now. Come on. Oh, great scene. Me. Damn right, buddy. Now prepare for fucking scanning. Oh, great, you're a fucking C. Well, fuck you.